So today we're not going to get into command blocks as of now, we're actually going to go into a plugin and that plugin is named World Guard. And this World Guard will help us make sure that nobody can grieve. We try to prevent spawn killing as much as possible. And of course we will absolutely secure all the regions. <laughs> As you know, if we do region info, and we'll start with that, you actually see all the regions you're currently in. And I'm in the temple, I'm in the Sestron quarry, and I'm in the field. So the region field is actually encased by a massive world border, as you can see, because we don't want people to leave the area. Every region has a lot of flags you can set, and the first five are actually not settable through the normal way by clicking on it, because they are not meant to be clicked. And why? I shall show you. By actually setting one, namely pass-through, which is not movement, but it's actually pass-through build, and we'll put it on deny. And then later we'll see how bad this way of protecting a region is, and we'll go from there and do it the right way. However, something else you have to remember is actually the priority. And the priority is insanely important. Everything with a higher priority overrides the other. Now, a great example is here the spawn I set up of the skull crushes they are actually really interesting setup as you can see this is part of the spawn the skull rock mountain spawn the skull rock mountain and the field now we know the field is the entire area however the spawn is only this area with the portal and the buildings and the great ship so that might make you wonder how is it possible that the spawn which isn't in that area is actually a region of that area and that is because a simple reason. If I go to Skull Rock Mountain Spawn, which is that little area in the Skull's Mount. So first is priority. A priority overrides all the flags set in a higher priority area will be more important than the flag set in a lower priority. However, if we add a relationship, the child of that relationship will inherit every flag from the parent of that relationship. So in this case, you'll see the spawn has all these flags, all these things you cannot do there, which makes sense because you're not supposed to break the spawn. And the little spawn is a child of that spawn. So in this little spawn, in the school's mouth, you have exactly the same flags as the spawn is. And why do we do that? Well, if we select this region and we click those bounds, you'll see those bounds are selected and you see it's a little box. This little box is where players spawn when they die from the skull crusher team. Now, if somebody closes this up entirely or someone builds blocks in it, then the whole spawn thing crashes. So if I do set stone and I join the skull crushers and I start the game, I get teleported inside a stone. Well, that is not something we want. If I kill myself, I get teleported even to the portal itself, to the world spawn. And I could even kick out because I have no respawn anchor or it was obstructed. So let you see how insanely important it is to actually set the correct flags and protect the spawn. The spawn can never be obstructed. So that's the first thing you have to work with. Every spawn of every player must be protected and must be wide open. Well, needlessly to say is I am a operator so i can actually do whatever i want and i just do undo and i can build there let's see how much priority i gave this region so we have the spawn the spawn has priority three which is the highest of all then we have the school rock mountain spawn which has a priority two which overrides everything that has a priority one zero or even minus then we have the field and as you can see the field has priority minus one Wherever the field is alone, it has all the power in the world. But whenever something is built on top of it, as soon as it has a priority of zero or higher, it instantly overrides that. And of course, the last region we also have is the score of mountain. And you see, I'm an owner of this. So within this spawn, I should be an owner, but it has only priority zero. I could set it to one easily. You can just click on it and you change it to one. That doesn't matter because we still have the mountain spawn with a priority two. And we have the normal spawn with a priority three, so they will overwrite anything. Currently, I am deopt, and we'll probably see that if I try to give myself a pickaxe, that won't work anymore because I have no power. However, since I'm still in creative, I can luckily 
give myself a pickaxe. Well, let's try to destroy this block. No, I'm not allowed to break here. And this is because I'm still in the spawn. But the moment I step outside the spawn, I can break it without a problem. Because I am actually in the region Skull Rock Mountain and the field. And the field doesn't allow breaking. But the Skull Rock Mountain definitely allows breaking. So let's see here. Region info. We have only the field here. So the field is boss. If I would say pass through is deny, I should not be able to break this block. No, I cannot break this block because pass through is deny. Pass through deny still has nothing to do with moving through. You can just move through all you want. However, if I'm here, and let's check the region info, I'm now in Skull Rock Mountain and field, I can break this block. Because Skull Rock Mountain is still the leader. So let's join the Teutonic Navy. Now, as a Teutonic Navy, I definitely have no ownership over Skull Rock Mountain. So let's go to the Skull Rock Mountain real fast. And let's check the place where we just cut down a block. Region info. Okay, we're in Skull Rock Mountain. And I click on it and you see I don't have ownership. I'm not an owner of this region. If I deal myself and I will try to cut the block, it will say, hey, so you can't play here because you're not an owner. And the field might not prevent it, but now the Skull Rock Mountain is like, dude, I don't know what you're doing here. Skull Rock Mountain is the leader of this area and you're definitely not a member of it. Now, let's get one step further even. You'll see the field is on pass through deny and that works perfectly. We cannot break anywhere except our own region, but we don't want it. We actually want the field to be part of us. What if I add myself as an owner of the field? So let's check the flags real fast. I am an owner of the field, but I am not an owner of Skull Rock Mountain. And still I can break the block. Now why can I still break all this, yet I am not an owner of Skull Rock Mountain, and the flag is specifically set to pasture the night? And that's simply because field is the parent of the mountain. And then priority doesn't matter anymore. If I'm owner of the field and Rock Mountain is a child of the field, I'm automatically owner of the region Skull Rock Mountain as well. So we'll have to remove that parenthood. Region is now orphaned, which sounds really sad, but it's actually a good thing. So if we go to region info now, we'll know pass through is denied. It has higher priority. It has no parent or child relationship. So we should not be able to break that block right there. Let's D up myself and I cannot break the block here because it has no parenthood set anymore. So this is all about the relationships and you can break in the field because that's allowed. Now let's go over this one more time. So we have the spawn. The spawn is the highest priority of all. And then we have the Skull Rock Mountain spawn, which is just a small pocket within the Skull Rock Mountain. Here is where the players get spawned when the game starts. Now, this is a child of the spawn. So actually the priority in this case doesn't really matter anymore. We'll just do it to make sure we'll see what is the most important of all. Anyway, priority two or three doesn't matter. Even priority minus one doesn't matter because we already saw that earlier. It is a child of the spawn, so it inherits everything, including owners from the spawn. The only way to circumvent that is actually to add a member to that specific spawn. Then with priority one, we have the Skull Rock Mountain and everyone who joins the Skull team is actually becoming an owner of that zone. So it can do whatever it wants. It can build, it can break it, it can explode. It can, it has no rules whatsoever. However, we have set pass through to deny, which is also not necessary at all now. So we can just remove that flag as well because I can't break there anyway, if I'm not a member, because we set our priorities straight. So you see, you don't have to set any flags to be well protected. All you have to know is about priority, you have to know about parent and child relationships, and that's pretty much everything. And then we have the field, of course, and that's something that's going to be really important. We're going to make everyone an owner of the field. Plus we created this insanely massive system and we sure as hell want to be able to mine that as well so definitely want to play here and that's another way of course to get to the other bases if you have any form of sense of direction you can use the underground to actually get to all the bases and if we teleport back to the surface 
we'll see we're actually here so we want to definitely be able to mine and do everything we can under the base plus the protection of the field itself will hold just fine so you won't be able to tunnel your way further unless there's an entrance somewhere somehow made by either the team that lives here for example mine tunnel which you can use to get to that base but you can't do it from yourself because this entire area is protected and then it's going to be fun to actually just allow explosions to happen even in other ones bases so you can make some kind of battle system which is going to be just great now the protection protects against a lot because i can't place tnt i can't drop lava and i can't drop water buckets but what if i want to do that now this is exactly where the flags come in so we have the skull rock mountain all the flags are pretty much set to no by default but what if I want to access chests there to be able to plunder? What if I want to place vehicles or destroy vehicles when you come with boats, etc.? What if I want to use a lighter? What if I want to be able to use and interact whatever I want? What if I want to allow PvP, which is going to be a thing? Now, this is something you absolutely don't want in protected zones normally. But if you want to override this, that is a reason why you might want to set one of these red settings you can't set by default. You have to really type that out. And the best way is just to click on the string and then you get the command without the block place. So if I click this one, you'll see this. So then I can quickly change that to block place allow. Now you're actually allowed to place blocks. So if I'm deopt, I can now place blocks here. But I can't break the block, but I can place it. And I can blow it up as well. So that makes a great idea for PvP. I can't break it, but I can place it. I can do everything if I'm an owner. I just can't do anything if I'm not assigned to it, unless you set the flags. And of course, if you want to disable TNT, you just deny it. And then I can place my blocks. Nah, nah, nah. But if I want to place TNT, nope, you can't place TNT. So that works the other way around. So they have usually have flags for everything that is really damaging. Something we actually want to allow because we're gonna just save the map in a random folder and as soon as the game is played, we just reset the map entirely. So that's basically how you're gonna do it. So this works perfectly. We can just blow things up within a, each other base. It's ideal to actually do allow block plays even though it's a red flag, but this allows you to build, etc., but not be able to break blocks that are really there if you also want to allow block breaking etc you might want to consider just using the build command because that's pretty much covering both or even set the pass through if you don't want to have any restrictions at all so secure the spawns make sure they can tunnel out it's pretty much impossible to not be able to get out unless they bring obsidian etc now what if i'm a total asshole and this is the spawn from the navy of course or the vanguard either one doesn't matter and I'll just cover that spawn entirely with obsidian, which is pretty much the hardest thing you can get. Now, I can just jump through that with true. What if I want to give players a true command? Now, there would be options possible. For example, with allowed commands, I would just be able to add true. And then you'll see this command is added. However, if I'm deopt, I can still not use through and that is because you're gonna need a permission plugin for that for example luck perms now i will not go into that right now you can simply add the plugin luck perms which is the most up-to-date one as of now and then add groups to it where you can give players a certain group and then you can give them certain commands they are allowed to and only then you can use such advanced methods so in the first episode we already covered all the entering springs etc so we're not going to cover that this is Pretty much all I want to say about it, just play around with it, you know everything you have to pay attention to, the priorities, the relationships, and I hope this will help you use World Guard. And I'll make sure this is more of a global guide so more people can actually use this and more people can understand how to use the permissions and the World Guard as they should. Well thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next time.